This episode begins on the fifth day of our thousand mile passage from North Carolina to Nova Scotia, Canada. As time continues and the distance from our point of departure grows, we begin to forget about the last month and all of the challenges that came with it. We've been rewarded on this journey so far with calm conditions and favorable wind. And as our passage continues to unfold, Mother Nature has the most incredible surprises in store for us. He's right below me, Will. He's huge. This passage is a reminder to us that the tougher aspects of this lifestyle are worth their weight in gold. It features some of the best and most enjoyable aspects of the offshore sailing journey, and in the end, turns out to be a gift that we will treasure for a long time to come. really loud and try to make myself heard over the engine but it is day five today right Tuesday yeah it's noon and I just woke up and the conditions have finally changed the water temperature has dropped severely the air temperatures come down and there's a different smell in the air it's actually really thrilling finally feels like we're getting closer to Canada I'm gonna take you guys downstairs now and hop on the computer and give you some more details about where we are and what's going on. Wow, so that red line is the Canadian border right there. Yeah, that hurt for the water. So we are like a couple miles away yeah. from that red line. We're almost out of the US here, I guess. Wow. That's crazy. We and are 1.7 miles away from entering Canadian waters. Wow. United States, Canada. Woohoo! I can't. I kind of can't believe it. I don't believe it. <laughs> it's weird to sail that far. Huh? Yeah. Though that before, it's weird to sail as far like in our own water. field right now. Fog just rolled in and we are surrounded by a fishing fleet with all these buoys dropped. They're not answering on the radio. I'm not sure if they're strung together the fishing buoys or if they're just dropping one pot. Um, I guess we'll go try to sort this out. So it's noon again. It seems to be a regular thing with my updates. It is day six. I just woke up having my iced coffee and I'm actually wearing pants um, because it's pretty cold. I don't know what the air temperature is, but the water temperature is 67. Um, and wait for it. 75. So it's 75 in here. I feel cold to you, I guess. That, I can't believe it's 75. Wow, okay, it's 75. It doesn't feel like 75. But last night we ran the heater. Bill was actually cold too. It wasn't just me. It was very foggy last night. That fog was cold. Yeah. So this is where we are today. We've gone, what, about 750 miles, honey? Uh, 800 now. Wow, we've gone 800 miles. We're way off of Boston. 
250 miles to go to our destination, which is actually east of, thank you, <laughs> east of Halifax. Yep. We're trying to get as far east as we can. Um, and yeah, as you can see, in terms of like proximity to Boston, we had all those fishing boats. Um, last night. Last night. I think George's bank is like right in here. Yeah. them go, they're huge! Got a big squall behind us. The question is, do squalls this far north pack a lot of wind, or is just rain? Um, we're not really sure. Some sort of on alert here. Um, I have the radar tracking it. That's what that white line is, and it looks like it's going to pass off to our starboard side. Um, so maybe we won't even see the rain or wind. Um, but yeah, we're just kind of standing by in case we have to reduce sail here. And it's moving at 50 knots, so it should be passing pretty quickly. Is it back on course? It is now, yeah. I mean, we have a lot of sail up for this, 30 knots. It's gonna move past us. And I'm um, waiting for it to get past us. Cool enough to put the oven on, so. Here comes one charging at us. Two more. Oh, is 
that thing? Is it a wheel? Is it a molar molar? Is it a molar molar? Are you sure? Yeah, it's swimming sideways. Oh! Oh my gosh! Oh, I can see it! Oh my god! See it, Will? Yeah, what a weird thing. Oh, wow. Same broadside? Yeah. I got a nice surprise this time. I'll be hard to do. our first small mola. Yep, we're 40 miles from uh, shore, I guess. Wow. I'm going to be just watching the horizon all day looking for another one of those fins. And while I was reviewing my mola mola film footage, <laughs> Will just spotted land behind us. Land ho. There is definitely land on the horizon. First time in seven days. of Halifax um, and our ultimate destination is the red sorry the lighting is not great is that red marker yeah we're trying to get up here actually to the lake yeah so but we're probably gonna anchor somewhere over here tonight we're not going so slow with no wind right now yeah so we're so today is like officially our last sort of offshore day but yeah. we're going to anchor for the night because we have to um, we're going to be transiting a lock, so we've got to go around that peninsula to get in. We won't be going in there. We're going to get as far as we can tonight, and then we basically we don't want to do the lock until the morning. Just made a grilled cheese and tomato sandwich. How was that? It's amazing. I forgot how much I like tomato and grilled cheese. <laughs> I don't do it because I know you don't like it, but I already ate. I'm really enjoying this. And on another, on another note. Yeah, we're getting a little low on fuel. So we're trying to, to kite out here. Very, very light air though. Yeah, so seven. Seven true. 6.5 knots right now. True? True. Yeah, so we're not seeing much more than like four over the deck. tonight. I'm not sure what the temperature outside is right now, but it was 68 degrees a couple hours ago, so down now. it's definitely calmed down a little bit from that. We just heard that there's a heat wave going on right now on um, the East Coast where we're from in New York, and it's just kind of funny to think about that just being as I'm in my winter hat right now. Um, but the sky is beautiful here, and you can see we're much closer to land than we were hours ago. Um, and the plan for tonight is going to be to anchor um, 
just in this little bay. And then tomorrow it'll be a 20 mile trip um, to actually cross this bay and get to the lock. Um, and the lock is the entrance to the lake and our ultimate destination is the lake. Well, not really our ultimate ultimate because then we're gonna be moving on again, but, um, and yeah, landscape here definitely doesn't look like anything I've seen before and I, I haven't figured out why. Something about the color of the sky maybe. Just so you can all see that I'm not the only one who's cold. Yeah, the water is 57 degrees. The wind's blowing right off of it, so. And it's July... 17th? 18th? No, that was like two, three days ago, I think. I think it's like 19th. the 20th? So we just came downstairs to check the temperature and it is 66 and it definitely feels a lot warmer down here than it does outside. So unfortunately we're extremely low on diesel, but I think we're going to sacrifice a little bit to run the heater. That's why we're sailing it right now. <laughs> we're very low on diesel, which is why we're sailing at like three knots right now. Three. <laughs> Just saw a seal and it's so still and peaceful. 